Cozy Ref's Mirrors, Bending Time and Altering Consciousness Cozy Ref's mirrors open up those enclosed in them to new perceptions. Those enclosed within these specially shaped concave aluminum mirrors have out-of-body experiences and see visions that far exceed even LSD. The Russians have done immense research on Cozy Ref's mirrors. Mystics and prophets of old were assured that the mirror, especially concave, can empower a person's ability of clairvoyance. We face today's scientists with the unusual properties of these mirrors, physicists, biologists, geneticists, psychologists. Scientists from the Siberian branch of the Academy of Medical Sciences of the USSR at the time decided to deal with the mysterious properties of concave mirrors. Based on experiments and theory of time from Leningrad astrophysicist Nikolai Alexandrovich Kozirev, the researchers produced a special mirror design at the end of 1980 and started experimenting with a mental image transfer over large distances. In the global experiments 12 countries of the world were employed and nearly 5,000 participants. The results exceeded all expectations. In most cases up to 95% of the telepathic information was received correctly. These results cannot be attributed to accidental coincidences. What if the secrets of concave mirrors were carried away when their biggest expert died, a scientist in the 13th century called Roger Bacon? How did he manage to look for hundreds of years ahead and to predict the invention of the microscope and telescope, cars and airplanes, ships powered by engines? How did he knew about galaxies and extragalactic nebulae, the structure of biological cells and the process of embryo formation? composition and operation of gunpowder. Is it a coincidence that during the experiments with cozy ref mirrors over the laboratory UFOs were seen regularly? What about this so-called the field of fear around the mirror setting? The glowing symbols that appear in it? What happens to a man once inside cozy ref mirror? What is up with the information space, collective memory, akasha? and how researchers can obtain information not only from the distant past of humanity, but also from the future. What is the importance of a concave mirror on planetary scale, and how it can act on people and equipment? What are the prospects of the concave mirrors in medicine, aerospace, scientific knowledge of the world? And finally, why the sensational results of Siberian and Ural scientists are virtually unknown to the people? These are the questions that this documentary addresses. O little oko's urge of a cozy ref mirrors. Simple polished sheets of aluminium are all it takes. The cozy ref mirrors are installed in such a way as to create a closed space in which there is a weakening of the magnetic field of the Earth, and which thereby provides more human access to solar and galactic information. Through numerous experiments using the mirrors with this intention, the Irica has focused studies in a number of areas, including human psychophysiology, pathology of disease and health, and the evolvement of telepathic fields and remote sensing. In 1990-91, a precursor of the Rainbow Bridge experiment was conducted entitled, The Aurora Borealis Global Experiment on Investigation of Distant Informational Interactions in the Noosphere and Their Role in the Planet Biospheric Homeostasis of the Earth. The conclusions the Erika scientists have drawn from the experiments with the cozy ref mirrors are often startling to the Western mind, and can best be understood within the context of the Russian school of thought known as Cosmism. Nikolai underscore cozy ref. Interview with Alexander Trofimov. Imagine standing under a vast, scintillating aurora borealis, and seeing it change colors as you changed your thoughts. This exact situation led Russian medical doctor Alexander V. Trofimov into his groundbreaking research on human consciousness, in collaboration with Vlail P. Kaznakiev, and following in the footsteps of the great 20th century physicist Nikolai Kozirev. Essentially, Kozirev devised reproducible experiments that prove the existence of a torsional energy field beyond electromagnetism and gravity, which travels much faster than light. He called it the flow of time. Others, Einstein among them, have called it ether. Others call it zero-point energy. Within this flow of time, the past, present, and future all exist at the same time, and in every place. 
This discovery sets the stage for all psychic phenomena to be scientifically explainable. Trofimov and Kaznakiev have, for the past 30 years, been experimentally developing the practical explanations, and have made some surprising discoveries. When I visited Trofimov's laboratories at the International Scientific Research Institute for Cosmic Anthropoecology in Novosibirsk, where he is general director, he enthusiastically showed us his two main experimental apparati, two hollow, metal, person-sized tubes, equipped with mattresses and drinking water. The first, dubbed Cozy Ref's Mirrors, reflects thought energy, which exists within the flow of time, back to the thinker. This apparatus, invented by Cozy Riff, gives access to intensified consciousness and altered states, including nonlinear time, similar to a deep meditational state. Trofimov's work has consisted of remote viewing experiments across both distance and time. They discovered that results are more positive when the sender is in the far north, where the electromagnetic field is less powerful. So they invented a second apparatus that shields an experimental subject from the local electromagnetic field. Within this apparatus, their subjects can reliably access all place and time, past, present, and future, instantaneously. Construction specifications for these apparatus are published in Russian scientific literature. Among Trofimov and Kaznakiev's conclusions are 1. Our planet's electromagnetic field is actually the veil which filters time and place down to our everyday Newtonian reality, enabling us to have the human experience of linear time. 2. In the absence of an electromagnetic field, we have access to an energy field of instantaneous locality that underlies our reality. 3. That the limiting effect of the electromagnetic field on an individual is moderated by the amount of solar electromagnetic activity occurring while that person was in utero, and 4. That once a person has accessed these states, his or her consciousness remains so enhanced. The implication is that the global electromagnetic soup of cell phones, radio, television, and electric appliances actually impedes our innate communication abilities. The further implication is that expanded human consciousness is mechanically producible now, which raises the vast ethical question of how these apparatus can be most beneficially used.